Hi everyone, Lily Brooks O'Brien here, and welcome to the third episode of Quarantine Questions. In this episode, I have interviews with teens from Massachusetts, Tennessee, and Georgia. Tune in to see these amazing interviews. Hope you guys enjoy! Hi everyone, this is Amy Michelle. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I love to be here. Yeah, awesome. So first off, can you introduce um, yourself to everyone with your name, age, and where you're currently living? So hi, my name is Amy Michelle. I'm 14 years old and I'm from Hamilton, Massachusetts. That is awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. My first question is, how has COVID-19 affected your life? So obviously, like a lot of other people right now, I'm out of school. Um, so it's been an interesting experience for me to, you know, try out online school and it's actually been going pretty well. You know, it was a really cool thing to try and I feel like this is a sad time for everyone, but it's bringing a lot of opportunities to the table for everyone. My um, friend just unfortunately found out her dad has the coronavirus. So that's been kind of tough for her, but um, he's doing well and he's staying strong. And I think everyone here is just kind of like coming together as a community. And I think we're all gonna come out together and it'll be great. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I will be praying for your friend's dad and their family and I'll definitely be praying for them. Um, so I know you mentioned that in that question, but how has school really changed for you and how have you adapted to that? So my school has been doing Google Classroom a lot and doing Zoom meetings and different things. Mm -hmm. And it's been kind of different, like it's been kind of weird, you know, to try this whole thing out, but I've been really enjoying it. Like a lot of the things that we're doing because, you know, everyone's kind of working really hard to figure everything out. And I think it's really working and, you know, it's kind of, it's really cool to try new things, you know, I'm very into that and, you know, yeah. Yeah, so um, what, what is something that you've been doing that's new or have you started learning something that's new or something like that? Is there anything that you've been doing? So when I was younger, I used to do a lot of painting. And after like I started doing more acting things and gymnastics things, every like life got in the way. So I kind of stopped doing that. And then, you know, I just kind of picked it up again because, you know, like what else is there to do at home? And yeah. I it's really been great. You know, I've been painting a lot more and I just remember how much I love it. So I want to keep doing that after the quarantine. That's awesome. So something else that I wanted to ask everyone is just what is something that your family or that you and your family have been doing to prevent you guys from getting sick or from getting other people sick? So my mom has rheumatoid arthritis. So my family has been really trying to keep ourselves safe and everybody else safe. That's like my mom. So we've been staying inside and not going outside and only going outside to go to the grocery store. And when we do go to the grocery store, we have masks and gloves and everything just to really stay safe. And I've been like not seeing my friends, but FaceTiming them because like I still want to see them and stuff. So we've been staying really safe lately. Yeah, um, me and my mom both have asthma, so we've had to be extra careful as well. Something that we've been doing that has been, I think, really helpful for us just to make us feel better is that um, we order all of our food from um, Amazon Fresh or Walmart pickup. So if your Walmart does pickup, I suggest that. Just it, it makes us feel like we're keeping ourselves a lot safer. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so one of my last questions is, what is something, or what is something that your community has been doing to, or that's positive or good during this time? So there is a big Accord Food Pantry building. Um, near my house in my downtown area and a lot of people have been coming and done like no touch contact and just like dropping off the food and like just any extra things they can do for the community and people that are less fortunate and can't like purchase their own food and I feel like a lot of people are really coming together to help um, people that are less fortunate and that have lost their jobs or have gone through the unemployment system like a lot of people are just really coming together and helping like their neighbors and everyone in the community and I feel like this is a horrible time but it's really bringing people together in a great way. Yeah for sure I mean I mean we're all in this together for sure so thank you so much for doing this I really really appreciate it. Thank you thank you for having me this was great. Awesome thank you so much. Bye Amy. Bye. Hi everyone, this is Eleanor Kosky. We know each other from Memphis, Tennessee. We sang together and lived in the same area and then we both moved to New York afterwards. So yeah, thank you so much Ella for joining me. I really appreciate it. Really, thanks for having me. 
So first off, introduce yourself and just tell everyone where you're currently living in, well, where you're currently living and how COVID-19 has affected you. Right. So hi, everyone. My name is Eleanor Kosky. I'm 14 and I'm currently living in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, so COVID-19 obviously has played a very big impact in everyone's lives. Um, my family, uh, no one has gotten it so far, um, but we are self-isolated and um, practicing social distancing, which I think everyone should be doing right now. Um, and specifically with the South, we are having a little bit of trouble with everyone sort of learning how to social distance and learning that you should be social distancing. Um, and so I think it's very important that we're doing that right now. Um, and if you want to have, you know, a summer, if you can have a great summer, if you want to have all of these things, I think you really should be practicing social distancing. But um, I have many friends all over the place who are affected by this terrible uh, virus. Um, obviously, since we were in New York, I have many friends in New York. I have friends in Pennsylvania. I have friends in Florida. Um, and it's very um, scary, you know, since I do have friends all over the place. Um, and it does play effect on teenagers' mental health. And I think that's very important to talk about right now, that it is affecting us teenagers. We're stuck inside, so that can cause um, really terrible anxiety, really terrible depression. But um, I think we'll all get through this. But it is a really trying time right now. Yeah, we all need to stick together because everyone is having a hard time right now. Yeah. It's really hard because a lot of seniors are missing their prom and missing out on a bunch of things that everyone was really looking forward to. So it's definitely mm -hmm. hard. Yes. And I found it really scary to like look at the news sometimes and it's mm -hmm. definitely can bust down my confidence or, or not confidence, mm -hmm. but like my my spirits a little bit because it's totally. really scary. Yeah. I think teenagers especially, I think everyone, I think you do need to be informed and I think you need to be getting this information in, but if it's affecting you too much, ask your parents to tell you some things that's not going to affect you too much or um, distance yourself from the news, but still, you know, keep in touch with it. But I don't think um, you need to be affecting yourself too much that's playing a big impact on you. For sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so has, has school changed a lot for you during this? I know that you were homeschooled or... or I, we actually went to the same school for a little for, for a little while. We did the same online classes. Yeah. Um, but has school changed for you a little at all during all of this? Yeah, so like Lily said, I've been homeschooled for over five years now, but um, homeschooling has really given me the opportunity to work for myself now. So now that I am inside and I have all this time, I've been learning new things. I've been um, taking French, which you don't really do in public schools and stuff like that. So it hasn't affected me as much as it would affect people in public schools or private schools or going to any school. Um, but I I'm, am appreciating this time that I'm home to work on my online school, work on a good curriculum, work on um, just a good organization for myself in school. Yeah, it's really helpful. Um, even though like it's, um, it's under such horrible circumstances, but we're yeah. all getting through it together and we're learning new things about ourselves during all of this. Absolutely. I think even though it is an awful way that we are sort of inside. I think we can definitely use this time to grow closer together with our families, with our friends and sure. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, something that I've had trouble with, and I know a lot of people had have, have too, is staying occupied at home. I, I know that you talked about your learning French and yeah. making sure to stay organized. What's something else that you've been doing maybe with your family or with yourself, just doing for yourself that's kept you occupied during all of this. Absolutely. Um, Lily, I know you play guitar. I have guitars all over my room. Oh, um, I see one in the back. <laughs> yep, there's one. I have one too. Um, <laughs> um, and so I love playing all instruments, uh, piano, guitar, ukulele, um, really messing around. My dad and I, he has like a little recording studio. We like to record songs back there. Um, I really love spending this time really just on FaceTime with my friends too. Um, because this is a great time, again, to grow closer to them, grow closer with my family. Um, my family love doing Zoom calls with our friends, and we'll eat dinner together. We have dinner yeah. dates. Um, and a fun fact about me, I knit and crochet, and all of my friends call me Grandma Ella, and so I've been loving knitting and crocheting. That's amazing, yeah. Um, something else that I wanted to talk about is what's something, I wanted to keep this very light and positive and not 
scare people too much and for have to have it be somewhere that we can all talk and answer and answer questions that we all kind of have during all of this what's something good that's been going on in your community that has affected you or made you feel happy and positive totally so obviously we can't really go many places but in my neighborhood for example i live in a very close neighborhood and we all go on walks and there are also a lot of small kids in my neighborhood so we have been putting teddy bears in our windows so when the kids go walk they can find the teddy bears in their windows and stuff like that so i'm loving that right now that yeah so cool. that's amazing well thank you so much for doing this i really appreciate it thanks for having me. your family stays happy and healthy and yeah Same just make sure to wash your hands everyone and yes. thank you so much uh, okay. maintain social distancing mm -hmm. and just all of that to make sure that this doesn't spread so we can all have a really fun summer Hi. Hi, Ella. Hey, thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Sammy Bray. We know each other from living in Memphis, Tennessee. We both did singing lessons together since we were about like six years old. And then we both kind of like, well, I moved out to New York City and then she came to New York City a lot to do like acting stuff. And we've been friends ever since we were about six years old. So Sammy, can you introduce yourself with your name, age, and where you live? Um, hi, my name is Sammy Bray. I'm 12 years old and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, but normally I'm in New York. Awesome. Yeah, so I guess there's something that I wanted to ask is just how are you? How are you doing and how has COVID-19 affected your life? Um, well, according to everybody else who's having to go through this and has loved ones dying and things like that, I am doing a million times better than everybody else but um i was supposed to start i was supposed to open to open through this this month, month called all the bed better um it's about um, it's about and and basically, basically what happened was we got delayed, we got delayed. and sadly our composer has passed away from covid19 which is terrible and we're all we it's terrible but I feel the most bad for the family and the people who knew him longer than me I only knew him for like six months to a year which obviously it hurts that he died but for his family and everybody else it's it's a million times worse wow. so yeah I'll be praying for his family for sure that is so horrible and I'm so sorry for your loss Thank you. Um, well, has something that I wanted to ask a lot of everyone is how has school changed for you or has school changed for you? And if it has, how has it changed? Well, for me, because I'm homeschooled, I do all of my school on my computer. So for me, it hasn't changed. But for my two older siblings, um, Maddie, who is 16 years old, her school like shut down. So she doesn't have any school right now. And that's really bad because there's like nothing to do because we can't leave and my other sister who's in college who's 18 she is doing college from home which is really weird and probably terrible for her so yeah well tell your sisters that i said hi and that i'm really sorry that this is all happening especially for sister who's in college who you know college is definitely like definitely an experience like the learning and like the living away from home and everything um Something I know that we're all definitely struggling with, definitely me, is figuring out what to do while at home, other than school. So, like, what is something that you're doing that's keeping you occupied besides school? Um, well, I've been doing a lot of online seminars to boost up my acting and learn about a bunch of new things so that when we go back, we'll be ready. Um, I've been trying to do a little bit more on my guitar, and I've actually started a YouTube channel. So, um, what is your YouTube channel? Just so I can, just so I can. It's just my name. It's S A M I space B R A Y. Sammy Bray. Awesome. Just my name. Awesome. So, another thing, I wanted to keep this all po very positive and light, even though this is such a horrible thing that's happening. But everyone just needs to have a positive attitude, and it's something. Get, can, looking at the news can be really scary sometimes, and. I was just wondering, like, what's something 
positive that's going on in your community that just made you really happy, that made you feel good that everyone is doing this? Um, well, as you know, everybody can't leave their houses except for like walks, and bike rides and runs and things like that. So we've actually been doing a lot of walking and running and things like that. And um, so I, whenever we go on a walk, I've noticed that people have been a lot friendlier because it's kind of the only human interaction we're really getting. And it's all just like, stay safe, do this, do that. And it's really, really great. So yeah. So I know your mom is a nurse practitioner, correct? Yes. So what has that been for you and your family? Um, I mean, I know that there are, so, sorry, sorry. Um, my mom worked, is a nurse practitioner in Jackson, Tennessee, which is an hour away from her house. And it's very nerve wracking whenever she comes home just to make sure that she doesn't have anything and that everything's gonna be fine. She always, whenever she gets home, she always runs straight to the shower to keep us safe, keep her safe and everything. And we lice all everything to make sure that everybody's safe. And I feel really bad for people whose parents are doctors or nurses or work in the ER. So, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of doctors, you know, especially ER doctors have to go to work a lot, especially now, like there, a lot of doctors are picking up a lot more shifts and just, going to the hospital a lot more and it's really dangerous so I really hope that you and your family are staying safe and I'll definitely be praying for you. Thank you. Thank you so so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye Sammy. Make sure to stay safe. Maintain social distancing of course and wash your hands. Thank you. You too. Bye. Hey everyone. This is Dallas Dupree Young. We know each other from The Big Show Show which is out on Netflix right now so make sure make sure to go watch it. So Dallas, can you introduce yourself and tell everyone how old you are, where you live, and how COVID-19 has affected you? Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Dallas Dupree Young. I'm 13 years old and I'm currently in Atlanta, Georgia. And right now COVID-19 COVID has affected me by the fact that like my family unfortunately passed away, a few of them. And you know, I'm just, I'm bored in a house. We can't really go anywhere. I can't hang out with friends, but Honestly, the ultimate goal is to have everybody safe and just be protected. Yeah, for sure. Well, I'm so sorry that a, that a few of your family members have passed away from this. It's so horrible. Thank you, thank you, definitely. It's so crazy how many people are, are being affected by this. So yeah. another thing is that um, a lot of kids have had to do school at home during all of this. Have, has your school changed at all? Has anything been different for you? Well, before COVID-19, I pretty much was doing the same thing, doing school at work, or doing school at home, and then sending my work to my teacher, but pretty much it's the same thing, and we just, I can't see my friends once a week, so that's the only unfortunate part. Yeah. Well, something I know that we're all kind of having a hard time with is figuring out how to stay occupied during quarantine, and figuring out how to not be bored, and to make the best out of this situation. So yes. what are you doing to keep yourself occupied? and to learn or learn new things or what have you been doing so what i've been doing is pretty much i've been playing video games i've been baking and cooking with my dad uh we've been watching movies together i've been reading my books doing schoolwork. so pretty much that kind of thing and it's actually kind of fun <laughs> actually yeah and the new things that i'm actually learning are uh i'm learning how to play the ukulele oh nice yeah i have a, I have a ukulele as well i can play a couple of songs on there Oh, really? Okay, then you got to teach me sometimes because I'm, I'm trying to learn by myself and it's not really, really working out. A website that I, that I love to use is Uke Tabs. It'll teach you the chords and it'll teach you the chords that go to a lot of your favorite songs. All right, then. Perfect. Thank yeah. you for that. Yes, um, definitely. So I guess another thing is that I wanted to keep this very positive and happy. Even though it's such a horrible time, I, I've wanted this to be a place where kids and teens can talk about how it's been affecting them and Something that I wanted to talk about is something positive that's been going on in your community. So what is something good that has been going on in your community? Oh, one second, sorry. Oh, all good. All right, there you go, sorry. So yeah, what's okay, um, something that's been going on in your community that's made you happy or that is positive? Well, uh, something that's been going on in my community, I think, I think right now we're all just trying to stay at home and just stick together as one unit and uh, be positive and be optimistic about this situation because all of us want the same goal for this thing to just end. 
So I think we're all just trying to stick together as one unit, one community, and just be positive and try to spread kindness in this world during this tough time. For sure. Well, Dallas, yeah. thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. I feel like yes, it's of course. Good for us teens and kids to get together and just talk about how this is all affecting everyone. Well, thank Definitely. you so much. Thank you for having me. Stay healthy and happy. Yes, you too. You I too. Stay healthy, everybody. I'm praying for your family to for everyone to stay for everyone else to stay healthy and happy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good Thank you guys so much for watching the third episode of Quarantine Questions. Tune in to see more episodes. Bye guys, thanks so much for watching.